hello uh, and welcome to a winter wonderland uh, of course the reason why i'm doing it this way is because i think i look better in the mirror than i do on the stupid camera but anyway this is another fireside chat with me and my cat um today i was gonna do my nails oh gosh and also i guess i'll go back over here but the camera always looks down on me so anyway, I'm going to do my nails, which definitely needs to get done. This one broke off. All of them broke off. These are the last two standing. These two broke off. This one broke off in the meat, so it was like really painful. And if you ask what all this black ink is, I'll show you. It's this stuff. Straight from Walmart. Magnet Lash and Liner. From my Aredio. Ardell. So from Ardell Magnetic Lash and Liner. Being that my eyelashes are basically bald and I look much cuter in the mirror because I don't know why. I can look straight in the mirror but my lashes are basically bald so because my lashes are bald um, and I don't really have any lashes. Um, I have my friend she was an esthetician um, who does like individual lashes and she actually gave me a, or see how thin my eyebrows are they're like microscopic but she actually was able to give me an arch in those thin baby eyebrows so she gave me an arch in my eyebrows and she would put individual lashes on and i did it from i, I first went to her for my birthday because she used to work at austin's beauty school where they would do your nails and pedicures and manicures and they even did hair and beards and they would do facials and so forth they even did tattoos um unfortunately um Austin since closed and I would go to Mildred Ellie for this massage. I was going there for years um, You know, like, like students would do an hour massage for like $25. So I would I would go there like used to go once a week um, Of course since the pandemic is closed But um, I used to go to my friend, you know, I one year I went for my birthday for a facial manicure You know pedicure got my nails done No, and um and on top of the nails getting done, I got my nails done and then I got a facial, which kind of, my skin is very sensitive, so it broke out. And I tried to individual lash. I used to go to like the nail salon, the, like the Vietnamese, or whatever, the Chinese, whatever, and they put the clumps of lashes on and it looked like, you know, giraffe lashes and it looked so fake. And, you know, see these look, they're long, but I, I got the natural kind, like the fake me out natural kind. Oh, I got need to go to the doctor because my neck is act maxing up. But with that, she would put the individual lashes on and they looked more natural. She put the shortest kind, I think it was like 10 inches or millis whatever it was. It was the shortest, but she gave me volume because I have no volume. And she gave me length, which I had no length. Um, and so she would put them on and I had them on so many years and I had them on so much that my real lashes just kind of like disintegrated. I never had many lashes in the first place. And then once I did have this kind of like went by sayonara and have a nice life and left. So that wasn't useful. Um. And I went to Mac and got like the lashes and the, I don't know, it was just too much. Cause you had to put the glue on the lashes then you have to stick it on right. And I went to, first I went to the Dollar Tree and got some lashes and they look like clown college. And I'm like, yeah, really? Yeah, that's not going to work. It looked like, you know, Bozo Wonderland or something. And so the, the lashes at Mac was kind of like a joke in waiting. I mean, not Mac, the lashes at the family, the Dollar Tree or whatever. It was like, it was like circus clown. And I couldn't even get it on my lashes. Uh, and the Mac people said, well, they can't even do Dollar Tree lashes because they said the lashes are like cheaply done and made from a like, homeless shelter level. And it's hard to put them on your eyes because they're so jacked up and ready. And the glue, you know, it's like ready. So they said, don't, you know, they, the, the estheticians at Mac can't even do Dollar Tree lashes. So I bought like some $40 or $30 lashes at Mac, which looked great after I spent three hours trying to put them on. And they were cute and they took forever to put on. And... They lasted all day, but it just took like a year and a half to put on. I mean, I've been putting concealer under my eyes from MAC for like a billion years because I have raccoon circles. I mean, I have like dark raccoon circles, hyperpigment under my eyes. So even when I'm just sitting home, I put concealer under my eyes. So I can literally put the concealer under my eyes, you know, waiting on a bus or outside because I've been putting on my eyes so long because my eyes are like hyperpigmented and they look like a, a you know like a raccoon or a koala bear. You know, I have a koala bear raccoon circles under my eyes. So I've been putting that under my eyes for a billion years, this MAC concealer, because it, um, what is this one? NW, Northwest, Northwest 45. It's the NW, NW45 MAC concealer 
cream compact so i've been using that for like a billion and a half years so i've been doing that forever um and then the dollar and then it's almost impossible to find mood lipstick i love mood lipstick mood lipstick is my favorite oh this doesn't even have anything that's why it's not showing up nothing like straight for a dollar fifty from the bodega. You have to go to a bodega or Korean nail salon. Not a, you have to go to like a Korean beauty supply shop that sells like hair weaves and nail polish, or you have to go to a straight up fifty cent bodega. Those only places sell it. It has to be in the hood. I don't know why rich people don't use it. I don't know why uppity people don't use it, but it comes in like green, blue, different colors. Black comes out burgundy. Black comes out like purple. I don't like the black color because um, black comes out kind of purpley on my lips. Black comes out purple. So I don't like purple lips. Purple is not that much of a good color for me. Blue comes out pink on my lips, which is pretty. Um, green is my favorite color. As you can see it, I've worn it so much. It broke in half three different times. And I can't open it up all the way because it'll break some more. Green, I annihilate green. I've worn it so much the thing cracked open. <laughs> green, black, and, they, and it lasts. And um, and then there's there's black, blue, green, and some other color. Yellow. Yellow is very pale pink on me, so yellow doesn't really show up. Black comes out purple, and I don't think purple does me well. Um, blue comes out really cute pink, but they didn't have any blue. And green is my favorite. And they're usually like a dollar, a dollar fifty. But of course, you have to go to the ghetto bodega, or you know, or maybe some Korean hair weave beauty supply stores in the hood. And being that I'm not going out a lot because of the pandemic, and I, I actually enjoy sitting home and being a couch potato and being home with my kitty cat, Monkamian, Monkamian, say hello, Monkamian. Here's Monkamian. Where is Monkamian? There you are, Monkamian. So since I enjoy being home with Monka Man, hello Monka Man. <laughs> then <laughs> me and Monka Man just kind of sit around and chill, right, Monka Man? See, she's looking at the camera. Say hi, Monka Man. Look at the camera over here, over here, Monka Man. Not me at the camera. Am I bothering you? It was her nap time again. We've been participating in nap time much of the day today. Because another thing is a snowy day. So you know, Monka Man is waking up. I guess I woke her up after she set on my hair, my scarf, my stocking cap scarf. So she has to relocate to another spot on the bed. Are you relocating on another spot of the bed, Monka Man? In bath time? <laughs> well, anyway, like I was saying, um, so the pink, the, the well, basically the green one that comes out that's pretty red, I've been using for a billion years. And the concealer from MAC, I've been using for a billion years. And I'm always rushing late. I'm not a morning person. I can never get out on time. I mean, it's like I'm never ready on time. The ride comes and I'm never ready. Even when I'm driving, I'm never ready. I'm always late. I'm habitually late. I have a piss poor concept of time and, and timeliness. So because I'm never ready, I like dreadlocks because it's long. I mean, I've cut them like a thousand different times. I colored them. I want to do my locks again, coloring. And I've, you know, because it's, you know, you wash it, you twist it, and it lasts for like a week or two. And you can just put them in a ponytail or whatever. It's a natural scarf. So in the wintertime, wrap it around my neck as a natural scarf. I don't have to worry about losing that scarf because I lose scarves a lot. Last time I went to Austin Beauty School, I lost my beautiful infinity scarf. I left it in a break room. Some thief stole it, which really pissed me off. But anyway, um, this, you know, my hair, I like hairstyles. It's quick and going to go like short, natural braids, um, this, you know, versus my natural when it was not locked. I would have to braid it up or wash it or style it while it's wet. Or some people, I guess you wear a lace. I mean, I need something that will be, you wake up and go. That's how late. I take a shower before I have to leave out the day before, the night before I take a shower. And then the morning up, I wait till like five minutes before my time to go. I jump out of bed, run to the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face, brush my hair, um, throw on my clothes, and then literally put the concealer on and lipstick on in the car en route because, of course, I don't have time to do my hair and makeup before I leave the house. I have to put concealer and lipstick and do my hair en route, um, brush my hair. So I always bring that with me. Why is she bothering my hair scar? So with that, um, I will always do it there. I see monkey man's art. Playing activities with my stuff. <laughs> Monkey 
man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. So anyway, as she's. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, monkey man? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at that? Okay, she's going to finish her nap time now. So anyway, um, and so, but being that I didn't have any lashes forever, and when I went to my birthday that at Austin Beauty School, I had her do my individual lashes for the first time. They looked really great, and they looked natural, and they were long, and they literally last for almost a month and a half. I mean, by the end of the half of the month, it's like I had no more lashes, but I would literally keep them on until it's like they're almost all gone. And so I think you're supposed to go every three weeks, but I would go every month and a half because it's easier on my, like with my nails, when I would go to the nail salon, I would go every month and a half instead of every three weeks. So I would always double it. So nails or lashes, and I would go every month and a half. And I did that for like years to the point where I had no more lashes. And then I tried the MAC stuff. And MAC lashes look great, but it's been like three hours to put them on. It's like putting, I could put on color contacts faster. When I had contacts for my eyes from the, from the, um, ortho, um, optometrist and um ophthalmologist when i had contacts in my eyes i could literally put on color contacts faster than i could put on lashes now obviously i put on color con i mean not color i put a contacts on more times than i did the lashes so i got used to it but you know especially with nails with lashes or contacts it's hard to do them and yeah and i like the, the individual lashes they lasted forever and all i gotta do is put the lipstick and concealer in the car and brush my hair but because my the natural lashes that she they glue them onto the actual lash of your eye your la the, the the natural the fake lashes attach to your real lashes so when your real lash naturally falls off the fake lash comes with it which is all well and good except that i did it so many times my real lashes got thinner and thinner this one needs to get done also my nail to the point where it was like almost bald so that's why i needed like the fake lashes and the one at mac just took too too long so i tried this magnetic one i saw that online and I said, well, let me see how that works out. So I tried it finally today. I got it at Walmart uh, for like, I don't know, eight, ten dollars And um, because I have mascara and I have like even a lymph lengthening mascara, which is cute. But yeah, you have to have lashes first to have them lengthen. If you don't have any lashes, what are you going to lengthen air? You can't lengthen air. So you have to have something there. Even if they're very thin, you have to have some thin length. And then you, they will thicken your thin lashes and make them look longer and thicker and fuller. But if you have thin short almost bald lashes what are you gonna lengthen nothing so that's why i needed the, the fake lashes and of course i did a shitty job but um i did a very non-neat job but it was something i did like in five I, it was faster than putting on the max thing so i tried it as the magnetic kind oh keep my command and i basically like put on this uh magnetic liner ardell magnetic liner with stupid oh my god along with this little thingy here that comes with it and it comes in this little thing here this stupid thing i can't even see what's going on i need a real camera but i you know that came out and i put the magnetic liner on which is why it's so neat and sloppy looking and then after i put the magnetic liner on you have to, to take the lashes off but once the lashes came off it literally just snaps on it's like snaps on it's like a magnet so that's convenient of course close-up looks hot shot to hell and sloppy because i don't usually put eyeliner on my lashes lip liquid liner but it was the first time i did it and from a, from this angle it doesn't look shot to hell not really and it's faster and it was only like eight dollars or something all right so anyway with that i figured today's chit chat I will make my, I'm about to get something to eat because I'm hungry. I haven't had anything yet today. Um, I couldn't sleep last night because I had several doctor appointments that I ended up postponing, including my pain management doctor for my neck, which is kind of horrible. But with that said, uh, oh my gosh. But the pain management doctor, I, anyway, I woke up in the middle of like, I hardly got any sleep last night. I was up more than I was asleep. I ended up watching even boring shows, and the boring shows didn't even put me to sleep. And then I finally, of course, I had to wake up. My ride came at 10. I was going to wake up at like at 8.30, and the alarm clock rang at 8.30. I fell asleep like at 7.30. Literally, I fell asleep at 7.30, woke up an hour later, and I just was done. I couldn't even do anything at that point. And then I went back to bed, and my alarm rang again. Phone calls came. 
people coming in. You know, I don't know. I just really got hardly no sleep. And of course, I didn't eat nothing today. But this is an excuse not to go anywhere because um, aside the fact that I was going to make lunch and dinner today, I was going to make breakfast and dinner at the same time. I was going to make, I don't know, I guess you call it sugar sugar. It's a recipe I got from a friend from, um, I guess he was from, not Botswana, from Zambia. And then I was going to use that and make a breakfast from it. But also, it's a snow day. I'm going to turn the light off in case psychopaths are outside. And here comes the bucket bed to look out the door. It's a snow day. It's supposed It started snowing this afternoon. Oh, my God. It's bitter cold. Oh, shit. And it's going to snow continuously until... T oh, it stopped snowing. What the hell? The snow stopped. So it was only a couple of inches. Still needs to get shoveled. But it's only a few inches. And it's supposed to snow again tomorrow. And it's like... The high temperature today was like 26 or 27 degrees. And the low was like 19 or 20 degrees. So it's cold as hell. And then tomorrow the high temperature is going to be 26 or 27. Yesterday the high temperature. Monday was the high temperature. So Monday, Tuesday, and today. And tomorrow is going to be like 26, 27 degrees. And the low is going to be like 20 degrees or 19 degrees. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is going to be beyond retarded freezing cold. Where the low temperature is going to be like negative three. Oh, hell no. So, yeah. It is going to snow again next week. But I understand upstate New York gets more snow than any other place in the country. Outside of maybe Boston. Even the Midwest, like North Dakota and all that don't have that much snow. Which is surprising. But anyway, um, with that, I figured I need to get space in my freezer. I packed it up full of stuff. You can't even, there's no more space in here. So I have like four bags of frozen kale that I'm going to use to make my shuka shuka. I have a bunch, of, I have too many french fries. I ordered it from Walmart. Thank God Walmart delivers and my freezer is making sound effects. My refrigerator isn't that bad. And tomorrow maybe I'm going to mix the um, smoked turkey nut and boil it for like an hour. And then put some beans in there, make some beans and greens. Because I have the um, raw kale that I'll make with the smoked turkey nuts. And I'll mix it with some greens, I mean some beans. So I have dried beans that's been there for like a billion years. But I'm going to take some of these french fries out that are literally overflowing. Oh my God. These french fries are literally overflowing. You can't even keep them in there. I have too many french fries, too many greens. I have too much stuff, so I'm going to cook some of the food today. So I'll make some greens and french fries, and that'll be my breakfast. A shuka shuka thingy. I don't know how to pronounce it. Which is like... um tomato onion and greens mixed with a bunch of seasonings and i'll eat it with rice for dinner but for breakfast i'm gonna keep some of it and add an egg in it to make uh, actually sugar sugar which is not real sugar sugar and eat that with some french fries instead of hash browns or fried it's my version of fried potatoes so french fries and the sugar sugar and maybe some bacon or whatever i have to make space so stay tuned and i really need to do my nails <laughs> And then later on, me and my cat will talk about our vision board, um, manifesting things. I said, well, that's, oh, excuse me, Monka Man. Here's Monka Man to say hello. It's nibble time now. And so anyway, with that, I'll log on. I have to wash all my dishes, though, which you probably can't see with the stupid thing. And the reason why I'm using my iPad is because... Not as if the iPad, the first off, my phone is completely dead, so I have to charge it. Secondly, neither the iPad or the phone can let you go flip back and forth. I mean, once I flip it to the other side, it's like the recording stops, which is really, really stupid. So I actually need to buy a camera. I had a camera. It was actually a regular photography camera, but it was a video camera, too. The quality was, like, m m piss poor, but it worked. And I videotaped stuff like early videos, which just shows you how piss poor the quality is. Nonetheless, I had a camera. It was probably like 50 bucks, which is why the poly was so piss poor. And then I used it all the way until I went to Niagara Falls and used it on Made in the Mist, which got wet because it was like literally raining the whole time on the Niagara Falls tour. And when I got back, the camera was done. And I never, so there you go. That was the end of that camera. So now I've been using my cheap phone and this iPad, which works, but it can't. And then I have my, uh, I still had the laptop I borrowed from the library. But the second I move it, it dies. So, so nice. That's probably why they let you loan it out. So with that, um, 
I need to wash my dishes and prepare. And then I'll pick back up, hopefully, with my laptop to see, show you how I make the sugar sugar. I don't even know what you call it. It's really just greens. It's really just sauteed greens with um, tomato and onions. And I eat it with, like, sauteed kale with tomatoes and onions and a bunch of seasonings. And I eat it with rice. It's really good. Uh, uh, or you could just make regular traditional kale. But I like sauteed kale with tomatoes, onions, and a bunch of seasonings. And I eat it with rice. But I figured I'd eat a, keep a part of it to eat with the french fries and an egg and call it breakfast since I haven't had anything since yesterday. Um... So I'll pick it back up once my dishes are washed and hopefully this lovely laptop will work. Okay, bye. Want to say bye, Monkey Mia? Bye-bye. Is she going to say goodbye? No, Monkey Mia. Whatever.